So we got, I want to name one Don Johnson now too. Okay. Dom Johnson. We got Karen, she's a nasty somewhere in there. We got, we got Carl somewhere cooking. Oh, there's Carl right there. Carol Baskin's hiding. My dad's name's Carl. Feisty mother. Who's the first one out? Oh, Karen's definitely gonna get murdered first. Karen's going down. Yeah. Karen is half a dead one, but she's lying to you. She's very much alive. What are we gonna name the big blue fish? Old blue. Old blue? <laughs> So, my name is Marcus Nelson from Jacksonville Beach, Florida. Fishing with Time Served this year. My name is Philip Kelly from Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, fishing on the Time Served uh, 36 front runner with Trip 450. So this year we got uh, me, Marcus, Phil. We got my buddy Brendan from Jacksonville also. This kid named Gator also known as AJ. And then I think we have our buddy Jerry Moulton from back home and Mike this Kelly. gentleman named Inman and Mike Kelly, which is his brother. So uh, not everybody's here this tournament. We have four people with us. Uh, we're gonna have the cameraman tomorrow too. Uh, so we're just looking forward to uh, this year. Switch with me. All right, boys, get ready. 15 seconds. This is Karen. This is Karen. What do you got to say, Karen? She's upset. Bait's in. Going out. Out. We on? Yep. Yep, you're good. Okay, we're fishing. Karen's out. Okay. So we ran down. We're on a we're on a part of the reef line right now, working it um, shallow to deep. This part of the uh, reef. A lot of the kingfish migrate from the Gulf and the Atlantic and uh, the big fish come up here and they feed so that's why a bunch of the fleet is here and fishing around us right now. Do it, Brenda. <laughs> come on, Brenda. Is Brenda out there? Uh, she's right here on the prop walk. Oh, they just hooked up faster. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, oh nice one, one. nice one. Wait a minute. Oh, let me, let me, let me. Who was that? That was, I'm pretty sure that was on the goggle eye. No, it's that. Really? Load up with the box. I got a long guy. No, put two in here. I can so. okay, grab a gaff. Grab me. Slide the fish off the gaff and go. Don't worry about it right now. When did that get hit? Up right. Never mind. Stay there. Stay there. Huh? He stay said there. stay there. Okay. I didn't like a good one. A okay. neutral goal. Okay. That's like a good one. <laughs> It looks good. Oh, he's... It's just, it ain't that big. Oh. 
Put it in gear, Bill. here all day and pound out and then there's 53 pounder at the end some, at some point bill 59. the first the big one we think he knocked the bait off the downrigger on the fish that Corey caught and the bait swam up and that's what he skied on because we saw him sky on a goggle eye he had it in his mouth but he didn't when, when he reeled was. the gog in none of the it was clean so that was a free bait that he ate he skied on but pitched a couple gogs back to him when he came back and ate one of them now he did <laughs> <laughs> Missed him on the first bite. I was able to get another bait back there and capitalize on the second bite. And a nice fish, about 40 pound wahoo. And it's a pretty cool bite. Nice run. And he's in the boat now. We're gonna have wahoo some beach show tonight. He dead. He dead. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good fish. Yeah. Been coming down here for 10 years, and that's the first wahoo we've ever got. That was fun, dude. It's yeah, fun when you do something and it's like. We're ready for another one. Talk that about Bill? pitching gogs back to it. 
get in a bite if you did. I'm just gonna loop around this one crab pot right here. You might be good, but you might not. Yeah, I got it. You're good. How about you, Billy? Got a copy. So one of the challenging parts about fishing out here in Key West is all the lobster traps. So we've got like yeah, go ahead. lines of buoys on the reef that we're fishing. Anything going all your direction? So we got to watch them uh, and all the boats. Fish, maybe a 20. Old ghost, old ghost traps and stuff like that. So it makes it a uh, good deal. Got to pay attention. Got to be on your uh, yeah. Got a nice wahoo, like a 40. Oh, awesome. 10-4. We'll keep it up, man. Good job. He's eating it. On. Get him up. Get him there he is. Crab pot, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Turn hard to your right, all the way to your right and go around it. Burn it, Marcus, go. 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 Gotta be on that side of it. Go, 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 go. Go all the way around this crab pot. Stop, 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 stop. Go at that crab pot. I don't know where we're at. Come on. Come on. On top of him. Woo! Watch this crab pot right here still, Marcus. Where at? Right here. It's somewhere right here. Hold on. It's under the boat. Under the boat. Good. I feel like we're in a crab pot. This? Can you feel it? Yeah. Which one is it, you think? I don't know. The one right over there. Give, give you right up on top of it. Do another circle and see, or what? I don't know, I'm right here. I don't know which. Make a call. Bob it? Yeah. Ghost trap? I don't, I, I don't think that was the man anyway. Didn't hit it like we need. So, it could have been. No. No, no, it could have been like any. <sighs> Hey guys, Team Kingpin, coming from Deland, Florida. Greg Samuel, Cole Samuel, Billy Chilson, Brett Nesbitt, team of guys been fishing together for about 20 years. Billy Chilson and I, we've been fishing together forever. As my son's grown up, he's jumped on board with us. Brett Nesbitt, he's kind of new to the team. This is his second year. He's still a newbie, a little wet behind the ears. Uh, Billy and Cole, which is my son, we all have our own particular jobs. So when, when things start turning to pandemonium, everybody knows what to go and do and that's what makes the team click we don't have a lot of people uh, we don't run a big crowded boat uh, so therefore everybody's got to be well oiled machine we practice a lot throughout the year when we're not fishing a tournament we're fishing at home we're mackerel fishing so we spend a lot of time fishing together to make sure we get it right we we typically finish in the top 10 uh, most of the time and that's our goal is we want to try to finish in the top 10 success comes through uh, consistency that's and that's what we aim for I believe you guys are going to see a, a really large leaderboard this year. Uh, the, the weather is going to cooperate, which is uncommon for when we're down here in Key West in January. The people are going to be able to get where they want to go to fish. They're going to be able to make long runs. Uh, bait's been plentiful. Bait's been easy. I, I, I really believe you're going to see a very strong leaderboard this year. Hey, good morning. 
play that Let the game just begin. Yep. Oh, there he there is. He is. He's I got the A twenty five pounder. We all clear? Uh, I got a leader. Want me to kill or not? What do you think? I say kill him, man. He's 30 pounds. Hold on, dude. <laughs> well, you got a fish waiting out. Hey, big mud. I had a 32 pounder. It's a 30 something. Where you at, Cole? Well, you grab my wallet. Check the door. There ain't much in there, about 250 bucks. I got you. Back. I can't afford to pay attention right now. <laughs> I can't afford to pay attention. Your mom got all the money, buddy. What was that, a dollar for that one? Alright. Get it all straightened out. Doing everything right. Give me one, Cole. One. Looks decent, but he's deep. You can see he's decent, probably. I saw that bluefish trying to get away and I saw him spin. This is the one I want right here. He's big. Get ready. Get ready. 